Well, former President Olusegun Obasanjo and a prominent Kaduna-based Islamic cleric, Sheikh Gumi, have called on the federal government to set up special courts to try bandits, kidnappers and bearers of unlawful weapons. A senior advocate of Nigeria, Dili Adishino, thinks otherwise. In this exclusive interview with Silverbird News 24, he says what should be done to solve the issue of criminal offences is not to create special courts but by ensuring that the existing courts function effectively. He also re-emphasized the need for the independence of the judiciary. As we are conducting this interview now, the court is not sitting. The gates are severely locked against all lawyers and litigants. That started about two or three days ago. When it will end, we don't know. Even assuming for purposes of argument, you have created those special courts about a month ago, would they not be part of the cause that will be locked down? So the problem is that at different levels of governance, it's either we have deliberately avoided what we ought to be doing, or the technically avoiding the problems that we ought to confront and solve, you know, or both together. I'll give you an example. The issue of independence of the judiciary has been known for a very long time. There's no reason why it should be an agitation at all. But because of who we are, it has become an issue. A court of law decided as far back as 2014, 2014 to now, is clear seven years. That is, apart from the fact that there is an expressed provision of the Constitution guaranteeing the independence of the judiciary. All over the world, there is nowhere contests and contestations go on on the issue of independence of the judiciary. Do you want to tell me that the governor is out there who wants to be controlling the judiciary of his state does not know that there's the need for independence of the judiciary? There are judges in Lagos that handle as much as 800 cases. You get my point? So, the issue is not in establishing or in creating new courts. The issue is in making the existing courts to work. Let us, let us appoint more judges. Let us build more courts. Please, take time out. Go to the Federal High Court in Nikoi. Enter any of the courtrooms. There are courtrooms that cannot conveniently accommodate 15 people. The court under construction, the Federal High Court under construction in Lagos has been under construction for about 10 years, if not more. So, that situation, if addressed, that building, if completed, and is made to house judges, you get my point, to sit in their courts, matters will go on. And when these matters are dispensed, the cases that you deal with today, you won't deal with them tomorrow. But if you have 10 cases today, for those of them that have fewer cases, there are some of the judges in the Kenya that has 20 something cases in one day. And by the time you adjourn some of them, you are coming back to meet them on their adjourn dates. And the same thing goes for all other levels of our courts. But I think if I can send a message to the Bar Association, because they have a role to play in all this, the dynamism of the association will impact positively on the rule of law and on some of these issues. The time has come when the leadership of our association should really sit down and bring people together. This judiciary that appears to be 
marking time. This judiciary that we are saying we do not have enough number of judges to handle cases. This judiciary that some people are thinking the solution to is to create new courts. This judiciary that is not being funded. This judiciary that we are just talking about how to enforce independence and autonomy of the justices and the courts. Let's come and sit down together and put ideas together. Ideas rule the world. It's not false.